sorry, just just to, uh, just to maybe add on to what Senator Mercer said, but then add on to that. I'll, I, I, when I talked a little bit earlier, uh, the, the the organization or the, the the industry in Canada that I think that had an out okay, I won't, let me say this right that had had a, done has done a very good job of getting their agenda on there is small business. Yeah. Yeah. Small yeah. business and charities in the sense of the economic drivers are not really any different in, in, in that. And they have done a very good job of getting their issues on the agenda. And obviously all the tax changes that went through part yeah. before that yeah. got on you know national news and all that sort of stuff. So I'm just maybe there's something to learn from them about you know that that type of thing. And then the other issue, and this is actually Bill's idea, but I'll just uh, you know echo it well as well. Minister Duclo, who is now the Treasury Board Minister who launched the Social Finance Fund, $750 million that the government committed to. I mean, that is a guy that you probably want to talk to. Treasury Board, if you don't know the mechanism of as much as government, is essentially the one that sends money out and writes the checks. Um, so they don't necessarily, um, the departments will go to them to get the money, but they are there and they are functioning. They have a, a role to play in all of government, in all departments all asks that have money and that minister is quite well versed in the charitable sector and and social finance for that matter um, yeah. so that is a, another good minister to to tap into um i would just add i agree with the lack of uh, maybe understanding of the value and the financial impact that the sector has and i would add also uh, volunteerism to that. I think we really underestimate that. So if you look at the size and scope of volunteerism in this country, just volunteers alone, forget the pay staff, you're looking at an equivalent to the size of the educational sector. You combine that with paid staff in the sector, we're as large as the manufacturing. That's huge. So I know if I think about the recommendations of kind of connecting those dots, volunteer stuff, you know, it's one, two, three, four, there's a volunteer, here it is. But it's really, if you think about the sector and we think about that finance and the, fi like the economic impact and the drive, we're, we're much bigger than we might even realize that we are, right? There's, you know, on an app, like there's just, I just, I like the idea of connecting those dots and just because we're part of the unpaid workforce, it is a significant workforce. A lot of these organizations we're talking about are 100% run by volunteers. They all have boards of directors who are volunteers, right? So I think redefining and, and, and re-examining what does volunteerism look like? I'm from volunteer <laughs> 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 um, but, <laughs> um, but also we're seeing that, change, like you talk about changing in movements. We're also, when we think about volunteerism, it looks and feels different. It's changed, it's changing. Mm -hmm. So if somebody starts a movement and an employer is trying to advocate, or uh, employees advocate, they're holding their companies accountable for seeing that, right? So I just kind of want to put the volunteer component in that, in how it can strengthen our story and our impact as a And one last question, and I'll pose this with the theme I mean, with, with, the, with the community foundation, it's not just about cutting checks to people. It's about engaging with organizations, engaging with the community, connecting with the people and organizations. As we think about trying to turn some of these recommendations into reality, um, what, what are your thoughts on how the people in this room and in rooms like this, what do we need to be doing? How can we successfully engage with our counterparts who aren't here? Who don't rush home with a copy of the center? It comes out and 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 read it. And you know, I'm guilty of that myself. Um, you know, how, how do we build that sort of momentum within the sector so that we can build that momentum on the hill? It's a great question. I don't know that I have a good answer for you. Um, you know, keeping the ball in the air tonight. Uh, this has been a great. Gathering and together, but um, I wonder if we're probably the inspiration to burn bodies already, right? So, there no, there no policy you want to put on right here in this room, right? Um, so, you know, how do we make it real for others? How do we bring others in for whom they don't have the 
I'm sure you do have record right report in every page, right? Most people have their head down for the day to day. So, um, you know, how do we bring people in so that their experience is reflected? Um, you know, having, you know, an anchor organization, the volunteer candidates, the Imagine candidates that bring together groups to speak to others, that helps to kind of um, bring things together. Um, again, to your, your point, make sure to not lose some of the textures so that um, we make it real for people to make it understandable, right? Um, and see the value um, uh, to our cultural values as Canadians, economic, um, multiple values to, to, to draw that line. Uh, and then to, to sort of a deeper level, but put that big picture, that North Star, um, put together. So, so thanks for bringing us together. Yes. <laughs> yes, Imagine Canada has a huge role here. <laughs> <laughs> any uh, any more thoughts from from our audience here, or, with, or, our, or our panelists? <laughs> <laughs> we, we actually have a question. That we, were, we were talking oh, about. Yeah. Uh, just, cool. What is one real, tangible, concrete thing that we can walk out of here and do tomorrow to help advance and keep momentum going on the report? Particularly smaller organizations that may not have a GR department, you know, whether that's just you know, tweeting about. Tweet the link reporting. to your survey. <laughs> Actually, <laughs> good segue. Yeah. <laughs> uh, well, well, we'll just. Um, uh, we wanted to let you know that we'll be sharing the link to the survey with all of you um, via email. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> um, and uh, if you want to uh, share it with your network and have it more personalized and receive the data from the survey, um, we'll also let you know how to do that and connect you with our, our research um, guru. Uh, so we can just that's yeah something we could all do and it's pretty simple and it's actually really interesting to do mm -hmm. any other really quick popcorn kind of <laughs> comments on, on tangible actions that we can walk out of here with do people like tweet their top three words with their sticker like i'm just yeah. so curious to know i mean i know you've done a very graphic of the like the laws are going to be very interesting so yeah take a picture that's a good idea mm -hmm. yeah. 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 Oh, and if you'd like actually to take those little postcards and uh, just take a picture and tweet at us with, with your answers if, if you want to take time to think about it instead of giving them to us tonight, go for it. You want to take some for your colleagues, we have more. So uh, just come see us and, and we'll hand them out. Can you say one last thing? Yeah. Go for it. <laughs> um, it may not be the last thing. <laughs> yeah. well, uh, pick up on, on, um, on what Fahim was saying. Uh, I think place really matters um, and where we have these conversations and what we sort of you know, um, showcase it really matters and where we showcase it really matters. This is an extraordinary space. Um, you know, really terrific to have this here. Um, I was in um, uh, Dubai a couple of years ago and uh, gave, a, gave a talk there. And one of the things that I noticed was that there, you know, they have all these. Um, uh, Innovation labs, and government and uh, youth labs, uh, and government, and they're not they're not sort of in in government buildings. Dubai has a very big shopping culture, uh, <laughs> and, and these innovation labs are in shopping malls, right? So when you're when you kind of walk into a mall, you sort of you can you, know, you, you can sort of see the, the innovation lab for the Ministry of Transportation. Uh, and they're they're piloting, experimenting. They're you know, kind of walking and sort of see uh, new services or you new know, driver's licenses and things like that. Um, you know how they're kind of making these things and all kinds of stuff, right? Uh, you walk into another mall and there's a sort of a, a whole youth hub, um, and this is uh, run by the, the, the Ministry of Youth, uh, and, uh, and it's uh, really about sort of you know engaging young people and testing out um, new models for um, uh, for supporting uh, education, uh, you know, for supporting. Transportation, like all kinds of stuff. 